Today I'm going to show you how to make your smoky eye runway ready. We're here with the beautiful Kate Mansi from Days of Our Lives and I'm going to show you a glossy eye technique. The first product you're going to need is a cream eyeshadow. Today I'm using this Chanel black that has a lot of glitter and shimmer in it and it's going to add to that glossiness of the effect. I always take my product to the hand before I go straight to the eye just to make sure I've got the right consistency. So close your eyes for me. And we're going to start by applying it all over the mobile lid. And if you've watched my videos before, you'll know that the mobile lid is everything from the lash line to the socket line. We're going to go a little heavier towards the lash line and let it fade out towards the socket because we want it to blend out softly. And then blend along the socket line with your finger. Have you ever worked with a cream eyeshadow before? Actually no, I haven't. The one thing you have to remember when you're working with a cream eyeshadow is that you work really quickly because you have to blend them before the cream actually sets. Oh. Once it sets, it won't move. Now we're going to continue the product under the bottom lash line. So is this something I can wear like out at night? Not really. This is a look that's more suited to the runway or a photo shoot than the red carpet because it's not really a look that lasts very long. Wait, why? Because once you add the lip gloss to the product, it's actually going to make the product move. So it's going to go into the creases of the eye and it's going to come down a little bit. But it's actually, it's a fun look for a photo shoot because when you get the creases in there, it actually looks kind of cool and disheveled. Yeah, it's yeah but it's a look that if you don't want that, it's going to require constant touching up. Okay, cool. So you're going to apply a small amount of lip lacquer to your hand and then take it to the brush and you're just going to tap it across the mobile lid and be sure not to take it all the way up to the socket line because it's going to move there anyway. Don't apply it straight to the eye because you don't want to apply too much product. You want to start with less and then add more. Don't blend it initially. You want to let it sit because once you start moving it, it's going to happen really quickly. So do you want to take a look? Yes, I can't wait. Oh my God, I love that. Chin that up. is so cool. Yeah, it's cool, right? Yeah, it's amazing. So can I do this on with like any shadow or is it just black? Any color shadow that you want. It could be pink. It usually works better on a cream shadow than a powder. Okay. Um, especially the waterproof ones because they move a little bit less, but definitely any color that you want. It's great. It's such a bold, dramatic, I love it. It's really simple, but it's really effective. It's great. Let's shoot it. I'm so excited. 